What's up guys, HTG Brian back with another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is level 29, the Chewbacca Defense Story. We are not going to get any trophy achievements in this video, and we are going to get a kyber brick though, one for completing the story, and you might notice we actually ring off a challenge. Now this challenge, I do believe, is going to be an unmissable challenge, which is why I decided to leave that in my story go, but essentially it's called Helmet Drum Collection, and during the first cover shooting section, you have to land three headshots of the stormtroopers, and I'll point out in a minute, uh, once we actually get there, that uh, before I even take a shot, one of their helmets gets knocked off and it looks like it counts towards my overall progress So I don't even think I shoot the hats off I think that it just happens naturally with the AI or well, I guess a not so I so we're not supposed to be doing that right now Anyways, uh, all right I get a little lost here going down the trees and I actually tried to take a shortcut and believe it or not it worked but there should be a GPS waypoint marker to follow all the way down and around. You could take a leap of faith like I did and see how it works out for you. But uh, just know that uh, once you finally hit the ground or wherever you land, it will adjust and give you the GPS. So you should be fine no matter how you choose. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and jump right into our first cutscene of the Chewbacca defense. Back door, huh? Good idea. It's only a few guards. This shouldn't be too much trouble. Hmm. You stay here. We'll take care of this. They're mine. They'll be captured. You rebel scum. So here we go. Of course, we start off playing as Chewbacca, as he is sort of the hero of this part of the story. But uh, I couldn't help but uh, switching on over to Wicket. This was pretty awesome. And uh, I got to this wall here, and it threw me for a loop, you guys. And you know my motto, when in doubt, smash about. And then I'm like, wait a minute, what is this little tool bench over here? You know, guys, we're pretty deep into this game, and for it to be throwing new mechanics at us, I was not expecting this. But this is actually pretty awesome, as now we have learned how the scavenger tools work, and I struggle with it a little bit here, I won't lie. This level is actually a little bit challenging uh, for a couple reasons, and it was really my test run with a new way of recording. And <laughs> Watch out there, Chewie. Uh, but uh, in fact, it also this level also has one of my maybe top three cutscene or moments of LEGO Star Wars so far, and, and I'll, I will showcase it when we get there. But um, all right, so we've got this new blaster gun now that we can drop whenever we want and pick it back up. I opted to pick it up and keep it. Look, his helmet has already been knocked off on the far left. Chewie shot it off. So I do believe now there's two. And we've already talked about this in previous videos. It certainly seems like you don't even have to aim for the heads of the stormtroopers. It just sort of naturally knocks them off if you take them down. So even though you could probably sit here and not shoot one laser at anybody you know it would probably that's right i call them laser 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 i'm sure i'm gonna get some some guff for that but ultimately you see what i'm saying though i i feel like even the ai would continue shooting and they would hit them and knock their helmets off and it seemed like it counted because i only shot one guy and knocked his helmet off if you go back and look i'm pretty sure don't look though because if i'm wrong i don't want you to tell me about it oh boy all right uh so we've almost made it through the first section here we sneak around the back and as soon as we get a nice line of sight uh, we got a nice little flight <laughs> that comes in and drops it like it's hot and takes our guy out but uh, i get a multi-build here and i choose the left side because it's hammer time whoa we got to jump up and grab this first though whoa 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 stop 
All right, we'll go ahead and build the ladder up. There is a bunch of stuff on the ground here. That is actually just the cover from the blaster battle, which I think it's cool, but I do wish it would sort of go away after a while, too, because I always end up going, oh, there's some bricks here. Let me build these. And you do get studs for rebuilding them, so that's nice, but at the same time, it's sort of a time waster. All right, as we get a little closer to the camp up top here above the ladder, we're going to go ahead and switch over to our scoundrel, Chewy, and go ahead and look up towards the left side of the scaffolding, and Booyah Kishow is going to go ahead and use his intuition and take out the main box there, the generator, or power, if you will, and Booyah Kishow, we now have access to all these guys. In fact, I think it even did a little damage on him for us. Thank you very much. All right, so this part falls under my when in doubt smash about rule. But there's a box that either, yeah, I just missed it because I can see it right now already. It's on the left side over there. It's, so I'm smashing the picnic, taking out all of the tents. I take out the barbecue. Like, come on, man. I take out everything. And, and to be honest with you, it might need to be all removed. But I missed the one box to the left. Did you see that? The attack went for the what appears to be like the mechanism that moves the uh, tree elevator that we're about to find. But I am just literally like, okay, at this point, I'm like, all right, I'm probably just going to have to replay this level. This is, I'm lost. This is a bad take. And then all of a sudden, I look over and watch this. It's kind of funny because I even do like a Jim from the office camera moment. I switch on over to Chewy and I start blasting everything. I even go mess with these guys. See, I'm still not even, I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't seen the one box over there. There's one item and there it is. It's glowing and I see it. Oh, no, I don't. I see those items. I'm like, God, I can't take this out. And then I see the box and I smack. Now, watch. Mm hmm. There's my gem looking at the camera moment. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. So, hey, but it's no blips. There's no pixelation happening so far, so I'll take it, even though it's a mistake on my end. User error, if you will. All right, up top, we finally are able to progress a wee bit, and we find ourselves another tool bench, a learning station. We're going to go ahead and step on that, press the icon indicated, and what? We now have the net launcher. This is one of the more intriguing things that I saw in some of the earlier trailers uh, I know I avoid most of them, but there was obviously a few that I did watch. And uh, this one was pretty interesting. I was like, what is going on here? And it looks like you can build and do a whole bunch, but I was only able to lay it out in that one spot. And it looks like it's only on the X marks the spot. See how there's that X there? So I'm going to go ahead and drop it, and somehow I keep pulling it out. <laughs> Just drop it like it's hot, Ryan. Up and over we go, and down and around what seems to be a dead end, but there's actually a box that we can slide on what used to be the checkerboard path. I, I kind of miss that. It's it's not really checkerboard anymore. If you look, it's just sort of uh, an area, which I'll have to come up with a new term. I, uh, for now, though, checkerboard path. All right, what is going on? Uh, that panda, boy. I don't know if anybody knows who Jim Jeffries is, but Jim's got an interesting take on <laughs> And does, uh, I probably shouldn't even mention it. Anyways, uh, moving along, moving along, uh, Google at your own risk. We'll go ahead and toss another net up so we can get up to the top and one more little learning station here. That's right, get learned, Wicket, get learned. We got ourselves a glider. And now I am going to attempt to show you how not to glide. All right, start by pressing the icon for your scavenger menu. Go ahead and select the glider. Hit the button for jumping and hold Oh, boy. You're supposed to hold it. Hold it. Hold it. All right, I eventually plummet to my doom. And it luckily respawns me up top. But it was a funny angle. It's like making me look the wrong way. So I yeet off the edge and get a little bit. Oh, man. Bad at gliding. Uh, bug? That's right. B-A-G. Bad at gliding. Go ahead and flip the lever on the other side, which will allow us to, uh, well, progress the mission a little bit. Also, I think it gets Chewy on our side, too. Now, we got a couple of stormtroopers up in the, in the trees, way up high, so we're going to take them out. Luckily, we've got this nice, uh, it's like a bow and arrow, and I got some decent aim from a distance. And, okay, we'll go ahead and toggle over. I think I switched to Chewy here in a second. And we'll go ahead and use his blaster to take out the cages. I don't know if he's needed. I think you could maybe take him out with Wicket. But, uh, all right, come on, come on, toggle over, toggle over. Or maybe not. I, maybe I'm lying. Well, no, okay, there it is. I knew it happened. All right, so I get keep getting locked onto that. I'm like, why is there this big stud floating in the air? But it's really just a perspective thing. 
take out both cages, releasing our friends, and then the fun begins. All right, that was pretty awesome, but you're going to want your sound up for this next part. Truly doing the Tarzan was epic. Now, all right, so there's a bunch of speeder bikes floating around, and it looks like if you take out three of them, you're going to find yourself a mini kit. I started to get really worried about this as one smashed right into me at the very beginning and counted. I didn't even do anything. So I thought for sure that was going to be a given, but it turned out it wasn't. Now, it takes me about 20 minutes, as you just saw, to figure out how to control this thing. That, that was a slight exaggeration. It was only about five seconds. But uh, I got a little upside down there, and once I figure it out, I take all these guys out, and I'm able to progress through here with my two-legged warrior, the ATST, which, which there is a challenge related to these guys, but we are going to wait until that free play to get those mini kits and challenges. So you're getting lots of opportunities at those speeder bikes rolling by, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you just need three of those guys, and that, that would ring one off for you. Uh, as we progress towards the end here, we find ourselves with a couple more baddies. We'll take them out. We got a few more meters to go, and then the final cutscene ensues. I think I got it! I got it! I love you. I know. Freeze! Don't move! Get down here! No, wait! I got an idea. This is a rebel that surrendered to us. Good work, Commander. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Leave us. The Emperor has been expecting you. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. The Chewbacca defense level c -c -c complete. That's right. Free play is unlocked. <laughs> we did not get the stud status for any tiers, so no extra Kyber bricks, only the one for completing the story itself. And as far as the challenges go, we did get that helmet drum collection. During the first cover shooting section, land three headshots on the stormtroopers, which again, I'm feeling like is probably an unmissable. Let me know down below if somehow you bypassed it. Now, if you went way out of your way, make sure to include that because I'm trying to figure this stuff out. But regardless, we will repeat that once we get to the free play and uh, showcase all of the other stuff as well. We unlock Wicket and it looks like we got our hands on Vader. That's right, we certainly do. So that's pretty awesome. Our character collection is getting much larger. However, I'm sure we're not even to the halfway point. At some point, I'm gonna have to look. I did look at my Kyber Bricks earlier, and I'm at like 55 or 56, which is pretty cool. But hey, check us out on social media. If you have not already, please check out the Trophy Achievement Guide for this game and more over at happythumbsgaming.com. Big shout out to Tyler P for the writing. And uh, as for me, that's gonna do it, guys. As always, until next time, see ya.